New York Mets pitcher Max Scherzer was ejected yesterday for foreign substance after his first glove that he started the game with was already confiscated. They let him return to the game with a new glove, but after using that glove for just one inning, he was ejected for foreign substance. The umpire still wasn't having it and ejected him after the second glove change, and here is the confrontation. So we are going to pause here uh, frequently just to avoid copyright, but uh, you'll still get the gist of the whole confrontation. So he had his glove switched earlier. You can already see, read his lips, he's saying it's rosin. It's rosin, which is a completely legal substance that they're allowed to use. It is on the pitcher's mound. And they're looking at the second glove, and they were looking at his pitching hand as well. well it's rosin. It's rosin. It's rosin. He said it three him, times. He said it three times. It's rosin. It's rosin. It's rosin. And once you hear Max Scherzer's story about this in the clubhouse when he's having his post-game interview, uh, it this is really going to irritate you. And we're going to take a look at this umpire's uh, previous history with throwing pitchers out of game since all these foreign substance checks have been around for the past few years. Got involved at that, even though it's a new glove. He's it saying it's rosin. Like the old glove, or and he's getting or heated now. Did Max go back to the old glove? There he goes. Um, he's tossed, and, to and Max is pissed. Max is pissed off, and you have to, you kind of have to admire his energy. Max Scherzer is still one of the most energetic and electric pitchers in the MLB. Take whatever you gotta love was it on it or on his hand off the glove. That might be the case. He might have brought the, bat, the old glove back. So that's about it. Max Scherzer pleading his case, saying it's rosin, it's rosin, it's rosin. Said it multiple times to these guys. They they changed his glove. He was using a new glove. He was, you know, cooperating every single way that he could with these umpires and uh, still wasn't good enough. And let's go ahead and take a listen to Max Scherzer in the clubhouse after the game, after his his ejection. What did Phil say after you clearly explained that to him on the field? He said, my hand's too sti sticky. And I said, I swear on my kid's life, I'm not using anything else. This is sweat and rosin. Swe I swear on my kid's life. Max Scherzer going, taking desperate measures here, saying, I swear on my kid's life that it was just sweat and rosin. Sweat and rosin. I keep saying it over and over. And they touch my hand. They say it's sticky. And I... Like, yes, it is because it's sweat and rosin. And they say it's too sticky. It's not, and it, it, they threw me out because of that. What did there you go. That's it. That's Max Scherzer's story on the entire situation. It was just sweat and rosin. It was a day game. And some of these day games, like, especially this time of year, uh, especially going into the summer months, but day games, you know, 12, some of them start at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And when it is, the sun is just beaming down on this field and you are using rosin, yes. The mixture between sweat and rosin and even sunscreen and rosin creates a sticky substance that is 100% legal. P pitchers have been doing this for a long time. But let's go ahead and take a look at this suspicious little fishy situation here. Umpire Phil Cousy is the man who ejected Max Scherzer yesterday. Now, these foreign substance checks have been placed in the MLB for the past few years, maybe th three or four seasons. I think three, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. I think it's been three years, could be four seasons. Max Scherzer is the third pitcher to get ejected for foreign substances since the checks were put in place. All three ejections have been done by umpire Phil Koozie. Oh, isn't that a little uh isn't that a little convenient? Isn't that a little suspicious, maybe? The first time, maybe he was right, or maybe he was wrong. But that's one time. Okay, second time. Second time, okay, now we're starting to build a trend here. There's been two foreign substance ejections, and you've done both of them. Okay. Third time, not a coincidence at all. This isn't a coincidence. Phil Koozie, what are you doing? This guy needs a massive reality check from Major League Baseball, either suspension from umpiring games, a loss of pay, and not being allowed to umpire in postseason games. This guy is an absolute detriment right now to the league and star pitchers. Could you imagine if this were to happen in the postseason, in the ALCS, in the NLCS, or in the World Series? 
where your ace, the starting pitcher, the the most someone argued the most important baseball being played in the postseason is from pitchers. Pitching is key in the postseason. And if this guy decides, you know what, your ace, I think he's using a foreign substance. Even if it's if it's just rosin, this guy might throw your ace out. He is a complete detriment and liability uh, as far as just being on the field, let alone behind the plate on the field for throwing. He's conducted all three checks and all three ejections since these uh, checks have been in place uh, have been under Phil Cousy, an absolute embarrassment. So anyways, Max Scherzer ejected yesterday for what he says was sweat and rosin. A little fun story for you today uh, that actually kind of might irritate you a lot like it has irritated me. Uh, these umpires, these foreign substance checks are getting a little out of hand and uh, Max Scherzer agrees with me. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you think Max Scherzer was in the wrong or do you think he was in the right? And what do you think kind of punishment umpire Phil Cousy should get uh, for all these egregious ejections that he's been putting in place. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Show it to a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new, and we'll talk to you again soon.